Good morning. It is scanning day today. That is the first time we will have ever scanned um, our Highland cattle. So I'm excited, obviously a bit nervous, um, but we've got everything set up. So I'll just take you on a little yard tour of how we kind of get the yard ready for bringing the cows down and working with the cows. We have experienced times where the cows have tried to jump the gates at normal height. So we tie another gate, a smaller gate, above all the gateways and then that creates extra height which just means that it's less tempting for the cows to want to jump. And we also put solid things behind them, so tractors, trucks, all sorts of things as you can see here to deter them from wanting to go through or over anything in particular. Go on. After the cows were in the shed, we then put our cattle race in position, which is a purpose built crush really for Highland cows to accommodate for their horns. And as you can see, the vet is using a probe and she has like goggles on, which means that she can see what's going on inside. And this cow is called April. She's a homebred cow. She's actually out of Francis, that is the dark Highland cow. And um, April was in calf, so that was a good result and a good start. Uh, it'll be eight months from now, so where are we? And the vet is able to tell us approximately how many days in calf each cow is. So that is really useful information for me um, to put in my calendar for next year so I know what to expect. And the cow in the race here is Edwina with the twisted horns. And the vet was able to tell us that Edwina had been in calf, but unfortunately she had lost that calf. So when she was looking, um, she was able to show us on a screen that there was, there was, there was no longer a viable pregnancy in there, unfortunately. And because she's 12, that probably means that her life as a breeding cow is over, which is quite sad. Um, we took the advice of the vet. She said probably it would be a good opportunity to send Edwina off the farm as a cool cow, effectively. So that was a disappointment, but on to the next one. And this is Frances. She's the dark cow and she's really the, the head, the boss cow. And I'm watching on the screen in the background here and you can hear me go. Oh. The calf was really visible, the pregnancy. So I will just show you a quick clip. There it is, little calf. So we were really happy. Can you record it? I 
we really like her, so we were hopeful that we could keep her for probably one more year. She tends to have really interesting, nice coloured calves, and she had a heifer calf um, this year. This is Spikey, another homebred cow, and she's three, so it's going to be her first um, time going to the bull this time. So excited for her. And you can just see the start of the cotyledons coming in as well. So how long, far along? She's uh, 60 days, so she'll be yeah. And here you can see April being nasty oh. with Spikey. The cows can be bit like that with one another and the last cow was Ethne she is another 12 year old cow and she's had some really beautiful calves so again we were hopeful that she would be in calf and the news was that she was so that was really good so we've got a decent number of calves to look forward to so then it was time to get the bull tested as we were also pre-movement testing on that day and he was very well behaved so no complaints about him today. And the cows can go back out to the field and then we will on Thursday repeat the process of getting them in again and the ones that have had the pre-movement test will have to have the test reading. So we've got some additional information to work with and we are looking forward to carving next year now. I also collected some poo samples from the cows that day and gave them to the vet to take away to do a worm egg count as I didn't want a worm if I didn't feel like it was needed. So looking forward to showing up what the results are of that. So, how did it go? We, were, we did well, really we're well. We're really smiley because it went really well. And it was for a number of reasons. So first of all, we were operating with kind of minimal amounts of help. We normally would probably have had our friend Will helping us, who's a farmer, knows about cows, etc. Um, and he couldn't. So uh, sort of at the last minute, we were like, oh my God, how can we manage ourselves? Um, so we just wrote in a couple of friends, um, you know, not necessarily with farming experience, but just to provide a bit of support where we needed it. But it was pretty much just me and Nick handling the cattle. Um, and so we're feeling good that we achieved it ourselves. Um, but the cows are well behaved. So it, it was. Yeah. It was a good process. We're more used to handling them now, aren't we? Yeah, we're more used to handling them. So we've, we've kind of expanded our um, comfort zones a bit by feeling a little bit more confident. Um, you know, sometimes in the shed, you can feel like the cows can be dangerous with the horns, but it They all, were pretty calm. It yeah. all went And the vet good. was really nice, wasn't The she? vet was wonderful. So yeah. we're off to give the cows a bale and uh, and then spend the rest of the day high on the, on the feelings of having some cows in calf and uh, ticking off some more jobs.